Good morning. Good morning. Hey, good morning, Andrew. Matt, you know, I'm going to start with you. Uh, okay. You know, he, Zeke goes through some, some tough emotions this season because obviously everyone else is so emotional in the dark state that things are in. But I'm curious, and I'm curious, first of all, I guess, how he's dealing with that. But also, are we going to get some more threads about maybe his origin story? Uh, yeah, well, um, it will be referenced heavily uh, in the first, well, I think more so maybe in the second block um, of 10. But, but, but there's been a two-year gap between the end of season three and the beginning of season four. And uh, we sort of see Zeke and um, Olive being like, the parents at the stone at the well at Beverly's house now uh as far as his empathic abilities go they have progressed so much so that he's actually able to sort of like harness them and use them for good but they have taken over his mm -hmm. sort of persona and uh he doesn't really know who he is without him and it puts him in a really dangerous dangerous position that's a great way of putting it uh yeah. JR, for you you know looking at Jared you know, the authorities are always kind of at this state of confrontation with the A28ers. Uh, where does Jared stand this season as that situation evolves? Kind of where he's always stood, you know, with the stones. I mean, that's he's he's put his life on the line one too many times for these darn people. We say he needs new friends. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's the same, same as it's kind of as you've always seen, but it's extremely heightened this year. There's a, a, new, organ, a new department called the Registry. Um, that's kind of um, now it's, it's this whole department where they're trying to just keep a track uh, and keep an eye on all these, you know, on 191 passengers. And and he kind of goes a little undercover again with them. Um, and it's just, you know, he's a, very much an intricate part of trying to help Ben and Michaela and all them figure out what this, you know, looming ticking time bomb that is the death date is. Um, so he's definitely an intricate part of trying to help them go out and investigate, um, you know the bigger well, the bigger picture and sticking with you on this too i'm curious i've been talking to the others about theories have you had theories about the show and have they panned out or where where do, <laughs> did your theory stand so far you know what from the beginning from the, from the moment we first started this show i always had a notion of wanting in the back of my mind wanting to know what the heck what the heck happened to these people what happened to the plane are they aliens? Are they ghosts? Like, what, what the hell are they going to, like, are they all actually dead? Like, what would that have so many notions in my own mind? But the, this has been the first time I've done a job where I didn't want to know. Like, I didn't, and the reality is I didn't want to ask Jeff. Like, we'd go out with him sometimes, and, and Mel and Josh would, like, get him drunk and a little bit of nut drunk. We'd get him on a couple glasses of wine, you know? Sorry, Jeff. Uh, get him on a couple glasses yeah. of wine and try to, try to ask questions, you know? I just met Jeff, an alcoholic. I take that back. Um, but, no. You know, yeah, I know, I know. But, um, you know, they would always ask some questions and stuff. I just, I never wanted to really know, you know? Mm -hmm. So um, yep. I'll just say the way that they tied it together at the end, it's just, I think they did a beautiful job bringing this this beautiful story that's been so complex and rich uh, together at the end. You know, I think people are going to be really happy, you know, watching the first 10 and, and, and seeing the way the story uh, comes together. Well, it very much feels like we're getting answers and so many other things. Uh, yeah, for for you, Matt. Do you do you have anything to add on the theories part? How did you stand? Yeah, I mean, I, I feel similar to Jr. I, of course, as we as we went through the seasons and the series, I had I cu was curious about things, and maybe I thought I le leaned one way and then leaned another about like the, you know the whole the big picture and the big series long questions. Um, but I ultimately didn't ever ask Jeff. I didn't want to know because I enjoyed the journey of reading each script as it came out and looking at the series, the seasons as a whole, uh, and, and, um, the incredible experience of these characters and, and the, uh, the highs and lows and, and not knowing where it was going was fun. Like it is for the fans. Uh, I will say that I think the two, the, 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 the penultimate episode and the finale work so well together and the answers are all there. The series, series long questions that we've all been wondering about, and I, I really think the fans are going to love it. It's not what you expect. And um, there's just payoff after payoff after payoff. Well, I just have a second to ask one quick thing for either of you that want to chime in. What did you think of all the fan reactions? Because even on TikTok, it's astonishing to see the reactions. If there's a weird plane video, someone's commenting about Manifest. <laughs> That's funny. I don't have TikTok, yeah. JR. Do you have it? 
I don't have TikTok, no. But I mean, I, we were yeah. just, I mean, we, we, we all met in, at Austin uh, this weekend. And like, we were flying and we were flying yesterday. And it was just funny to see the pilot came out and had something, you know, had a, his little like, should we really take the plane off right now? Because I don't want to come back five. Did minutes. you really? A little, a little five and a half year pun, you know? Um, yes, so this is cool course. to see how many people have loved, how many people have just embraced the story, and, and, and not just here internationally. It's just since it came out on Netflix, yeah. it's just it's worldwide. We've been getting so much love from the Philippines, from Brazil, all over. It's just like it's incredible. Yeah. We're so fortunate yeah. and blessed. So. It's amazing to see it. Uh, it seemed like every every few weeks or every month or so, Netflix would release it in another five or six markets internationally, and and all of us would be getting you know screenshots of of it being number one. It's just been so incredible. I mean, if we were, as JR mentioned, I was there and they were, and, and JR and Melissa were there too uh, at the Austin, uh, the, the U.S. Grand Prix, the Formula One race this weekend. And the diversity uh, of fans that would come up and want to and say something or want to take a picture from all over the world, it's just really special. And, and it's not lost on any of us how, how amazing this whole experience has been. Thank you both for the time. I really appreciate it. I can't wait to see the rest. You got it. Thank, Thank you, you so much.